There's lots of things to consider when picking a rug for your space. Along with price and style and just the way it feels to you, there's also whether or not it's the right size for your layout. Here are some options to consider when thinking about placing a rug for your living room, dining room, and bedroom. Looking at a living room space, this is a very standard living room layout. We've got a sofa, two chairs, side tables, coffee table. And there's really sort of three ways you can lay it out. And quite frankly, I think they're geared to budget. The easiest way to think about it is how you're gonna place the legs of the furniture in your room. The first layout to consider, and I think it's the ideal if you have the budget for it, is all of the legs of all of the pieces of furniture on the rug. So you're gonna be picking a larger piece that will give you enough space to go all the way around the room with your sofa, your chairs, all of your tables sitting on top of that rug together. Now, of course, we're not putting any of our furniture up against the walls because that's a no-no. So because the furniture is off the wall, how close can you put your carpet against the wall? A good rule of thumb is 12 to 18 inches away from the wall. So you get a chance to see the flooring around the carpet. Helps to define the space nicely, but gives you circulation around the outsides of your room. The next option to consider is just having the front legs of all the major pieces of furniture on the rug. This is a little bit more budget friendly because it's gonna mean you can go with a smaller piece. It's just gonna be the right size so that the front legs of all your chairs and your sofa are sitting on the rug, but it doesn't have to be so large that it encompasses all of the furniture. The last option, and definitely the most budget friendly, is to do the no legs approach. Now, of course, the legs of your coffee table are gonna be sitting on this, but the bigger pieces in your room, your sofa, your side chairs, are gonna be off the carpet. The cute thing about this is that it lets all the pieces breathe. It's really great in an open space where you're maybe having some continuous flow in an open concept condo, that kind of space. This is also a good option if you've got a differently shaped rug because it really stands out. So it'd be neat if you had a cowhide or maybe an oval or circular rug. It'll let that piece really sing. Moving on to the dining room. I think the most critical thing here is function. As nice as a dining room rug looks, the important thing is that you're not constantly catching chair legs on the edges. The average person at a table pulling their chair in and out takes up about 18 inches of space off the edge of the table side. To avoid conflict, you probably wanna go with a rug that is at least 24 inches off all of the sides of your table. So that means you're going three to four feet bigger than your table size when you're looking for a rug. That means you'd be looking for a rectangular rug, whether you've got a rectangular or a racetrack table. The measurement remains the same if you've got a circular table. You're still gonna go three to four feet bigger in both directions, but you have the flexibility of going with either a circular rug or a square. I would avoid going with a rectangular rug unless you've got a leaf you might be adding down the road to make it into a racetrack table. In a bedroom layout, I know that your bed is covering most of the space, but it's still really nice to be able to step out of bed onto a nice warm surface. So you have, again, three options in terms of your layout. You can go with, again, the largest and most expensive option, a rug that goes all the way behind your bedside tables, past the foot of your bed, so you can walk all the way around the bed in comfort. Or you can do a slightly smaller option that stops in front of your bedside tables and actually runs perpendicular to the bed, so that, again, it'll go past the foot of the bed. Or lastly, the most economical option is to do two smaller rugs, one on each side of the bed. Rugs are usually thought of as purely decorative, but I think there's a lot more you need to consider. You need to think about how they fit into your budget, your space, and how they meet your functional needs.